Hello everyone, I wish you a happy 2022 and a healthy one. So uh, I made a little video today and this is how it's going. <laughs> oh my god. Three, three. The next campaigns, campestris and codeline Red Star are in this one. In this, should I call it trunk of space? And I left some room to put my alloy polyphila to the right and to the left side. So it's cold outside. All needs to be repainted again, but that's something for in spring. Now it's too cold and wet. This is a zone with all the big leafy plants I put in. Nothing to see yet, except for, uh, for this one. So there is Spotty Dotty etc. should be in, in the ground here as well. As some other big leafy plants. You saw the pulmonaria. Then my wall with bamboo is almost high enough to cover the the wall itself then I have a second zone Oof. and uh, it's not planted yet it's only colocasia pink china is in the ground and some uh, little ferns but in the summer there will be two or three Thai black Musa Thai blacks in the ground as well but now it's not much to see not much to look at so you see those this construction I made so this is for my this is the bird cage and now this is the way my birds fly or walk if they want to the inside you see there this is the inside you see the little hole in the wall and then they go inside to a, a warmer spot he was sleeping then to my left I put Agapanthus, the Africanus, the white and the blue one. Let's see what they will do this summer. It was a lot of flowers previous summer so this should go well. My little pond and on beneath this is my Trachycarpus princeps to cover it from cold and wet. And behind that it's my uh, Albigia summer chocolate, but it's just a little stick, so nothing to see yet. Then we go to the back. Oh yeah, my insect hotel is starting to attract some bees. I think they, you call them masoner bees or something like that, I don't know. So here we are now, still outside, N not sleeping, but he is cold, I can see it, but he can, in he can go inside, so it's, it's his choice. I will whistle and I can tell you that another one will show in a few minutes. So bamboo, bamboo. And this is something I need to get working on because it's not finished yet. It's the road between my black bamboo and my other bamboo and my musabashu bananas. A lot of work in spring. But I don't mind. I like this. So and let's have a look. So I whistled and voila. There is number two. But it's too cold. You, you see? He's telling you it's too cold outside. Outside. Then we walk further into my small garden. And you can see behind the big trachycarpus. So this is an helenium still flowering. Thinking it's summer. <laughs> I need to trim this one here. That's a lot of trimming I need to do because I want to do that before it starts growing again. And then you see my Trachycarpus. 
So uh, this year they grow a lot and that's because it was a wet summer and they like a lot of moisture in the summer. So give your Trachycarpus in the summer a lot of moisture or water so it will grow faster for you. And that hole in front of the pond is for my Gunnera Manicata. Now let's go in the greenhouse. Into the greenhouse. This is Echium fastuosum. This is Agave Americana. Also for sale on the half May, I think. Then it's uh, Musatai Black in front, and then you see Colocasia um, Jack's Giant. And then yesterday I received 160 crossings Fortunae, Wagnerianus, and Wagnerianus Fortunae. So they are all potted up now. Also a, a few for sale on the half of May. Then you see the Echium Walpretii and then the Hedicium Dr. Moy with the white stripes. So you can also follow me on Facebook, Eddie's Tropical Garden. You uh, are free to do that. Then Trachycarpus Nanus in front, and then you see the Trachycarpus Wagnerianus crossed uh, Princeps, the hybrid. It's the real Princeps, eh? And then the small plant to the right, that one, is Avocado. Then you see the Trachycarpus Nova left. Then the Phoenix Rubellini E wild form. The Trachycarpus Princeps. The Trachycarpus Martinianus. Martianus. A Nepal form, then the I forgot the other one <laughs> again, and way behind is the hybrid, the new hybrid Nova. So the Princep new hybrid is not doing well, but I don't know why. Then in this, you see my Siatea collection, Cupri and the Albata, and in front the Aloe Polyphila plants. And uh, this is also my favorite, is a Feyoa. Very nice flowers. But it didn't ha have flowers yet, so I hope this year it will flower for me. So now let's go, go inside. Echium fastuosum and NCT glaucum to the left. Then the small one is the Musa zebrina. This one. Then we go to the left. And you see my favorite plant or tree, the Brasiopsis mitis, the most beautiful leaves. Really, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Then you see the Siagrus Romanzofiana species, Santa Catarina palm. And you see a lot of little palm trees on top of the of, the, of that. Then here you see my Gunnera manicata. It started growing. This will be a giant. Thank you, Jean-Marie de Voet. Then my propagator with uh, citrus trees, Musa zebrina, and different kinds of peppers. Sugar, uh, like the sugar rush, peach, etc. Then here is the Canadia climbing plant special one i hope i get it through the winter because it has black and yellow flowers i flowers with black and yellow the colors plumeria and then a thai black banana again then on the right side you see the musa siamea or the musa john c i don't know because i mixed up the seeds <laughs> and in front of that it's the voodoo lily bulbs inside thanks to Hans Kazan then the Colocasia Fontanesi my other propagator specially designed for banana seeds so it goes up to 36 degrees C and it cools down to 20 during the night then we have Siatea Cupri and some other Colocasia. So in the middle is the uh, Colocasia Laosi. Laosi. 
my Trachycarpus latisectus. I have two of those. And the, the little stick you see on the left now is uh, Manihat Krahami. Also very, very beautiful leaves. No leaves now, but it will grow back. And finally we go inside this. I have a big Trachycarpus Martianus. I have a Manipur and I have a Dixonia Antarctica. Going outside in, I think, Sunday because freezing temp temperatures are gone for a while. And my other hobby, my Goldian Finches. So I, uh, I love these birds. They don't make a lot of noise. Beautiful colors, but now we are losing feathers because it's the time of the year. And this is my favorite. It's not, it's not, no, no, no. The, the, the one in the behind, it's my favorite male. This is a new one. A little shy, but will be all right. And the other cage is also a new uh, female with blue back feathers. To the, that's one, the right one, this one. I hope they make beautiful babies. And that's it. So you can join me on Facebook at Eddie's Tropical Garden. It's free for you. I have also info and you can also leave comments if you have questions. Bye.